thank you so much for gathering here today and thank you so much to the organizer and Suresh and Dan for coming up with this idea. Um, we started talking about it a few months ago and then finally with the help of Esther as well it developed into something so special. When I entered this room and I immediately saw my mom's portrait, I I thought that I would be able to hold hold up quite well, but the more I look at it, the more the more overwhelmed I feel because the more I look at it, the more I realize how much my mother's essence was captured um, by Esther and how her playfulness uh, and her softness is shining through more so than I could see it on her photographs and that's the point of this exhibition I think and that's the point of having these tables next to each portrait that in one way or another represents um, these women is to show a different side to them because when you read stuff online, when you watch documentaries about them, there's always usually one side to these women. Something that for ordinary people with day-to-day -day jobs is, is hard to relate to, this heroism, this sur surpassing certain boundaries that we usually don't have to see. Um, whereas with, with little details with the Daphne and her gardening and Veronica and her football and my mom and her um, the f perfume, um, we get to see a different side to these women. And something that I found unites all of them, all four of them, is this perceived madness. Because they're all deemed mad by certain ill-wishers or well-wishers who thought, what are you doing? You have children, because each and every one of them was a mother. Um, and they had to struggle not only against um, against these forces, forces such as corruption and 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 um, and the army and 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 corrupt politicians, but they also had to struggle against the stereotypes that they were. Um, that that, um, that that they were confined to that they shouldn't do what they do, that they're women, that um, they should focus on their families. And that's why I think um, representing them in these bold colors with the words that they were famous for, but also placing them next to these very touching details that define them, I think is a, is a, is a, really, is a really powerful, um, it's a very powerful move because there were so much more than than what we know about them and it really deeply moves me seeing all four women together in in this room and uh, i'm so grateful to esther for for her inspiration and for incredible work that truly brought them alive um because as a as a, as a daughter and as a writer myself i'm so relieved that i'm not the only one who is making sure that these women and their legacy lives on. So thank you so much, Esther, and, and everyone else who was involved in this. Um, enjoy, enjoy the exhibition. And now we want to move on to...